part two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to channel 48 Puck Hair. In the previous video, we took a look at Android 12 and 13 installed on the Note 5. And I was playing with it this morning. Yeah, yeah, easy, easy. And I'm pushing content to it. So it's kind of usable as a portable player and nothing more until a developer will bring uh, these drivers needed to make it even more usable to it. And if that will ever happen, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so that is up to developers. So in the next development, we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S4. It's been a while that we heard something from the JDC team uh, site, as you know, is as well official Lineage OS uh, developer and they are working on other things there that have more priority. But JDC is back with a new build for the Samsung Galaxy S4. You can see it, I'm in the drive. And there you can see the names. Uh, yeah, I never saw Slavoj Karadjov yet, but he's new. He's new in our army, to say this way. And um, yeah, let's do a little uh, formatting of the data. Let's, let's just do a clean install, you know. Give the ROM a 100% chance because I've been waiting for a long time. It's been a while that uh, JDC uh, uploaded a ROM, but I see that Slavoj Karadjov on the 28th of February as well released a ROM. You see that? And this is JDC team, so this is all JDC team. Otherwise, it would not be together with the Dimitri's uh, works. All right, so I downloaded the ROM already. And uh, here it is, Optimize CM19, it's called in this uh, build. At least, yeah, it's Optimize Lineage OS, but CM Lineage OS, it's all good. It's one big family, man, one big family. copying the s4 yeah the s4 is still very nice phone um in fact it should be able to get at least a ported rom from for instance the the note 3 because the n9005 and the i9505 they have similar similar hardware that's what my AI first told me. So then I went checking out, but I saw that the S4 has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 quad-core processor, that while the uh, the Note 3, yeah, has the same version, but then 800. So that means it's not the same.
dit is. En ja, dit is not zo'n broken uh, uh, ROM with Wi-Fi not working. This is, you can immediately get started, please. This is your Samsung Galaxy S4. That is running uh, Android 12, ja? Yeah? With, uh, yeah, with security patches that are from June uh, 5th, 2023. So, ja. Yeah. Peeps, that is like, like wow, okay, that's really like wow. This is a development that's been going on for a long time already, so things actually really work, you know. <laughs> If you click the cam, it's not saying, uh, go get yourself a big one, you know, cam is not working. Uh, this is privacy ROM, <laughs> nothing like that. This is a ROM that will give you privacy and it will as well let you use the camera and make nice pictures of you. Yeah, it will always make the picture a little bit nicer than you are in the real, so it will make you feel good. This phone will always satisfy you, even if the motherboard dies, you know, you buy another one and you put it in within 10 minutes, you have the motherboard built in. Even a noob like me can do it. So yeah, if I can do it, I think everybody can. Um, phone, of course, it all works. You see that? Uh, oh no. Oh six. Heck yeah. You see? I'm me. So yeah, this is all working good peeps. And of course, it is uh, Android 12. And that for the S4 that was left behind on Lollipop. This is an amazing improvement that you can have in your hands in July, summer 2023, your old S4 that can still be a boss. Well, it is a boss even without this ROM because we have official Lineage OS uh, for this darling. Uh, it's yeah, Lineage OS 11, but okay. I mean, it's Android 11 and not 12, but hey, who cares about that? You know, the thing has monthly ROMs coming to it. And I'm glad to see that JDC, uh, yeah, is back. Uh, so, yeah, if this goes on this way, then, uh, yeah, these ROMs will be shown every month again and again. Uh, yeah, just to promote this uh, development and not to forget about it. Because it's been a classic one going on since Android, I don't know, 5 six for this thing cm 13 14 15 check it out on xda you will see that jdc was always yeah the one the ones these were the ones you had people creating roms and you had jdc and jdc would every month again and again and again create roms and they yeah they've been doing it for for over 10 years now and look where we are And, uh, yeah, I'm sure a port of Android 13 should not have to be created, but um, these guys themselves will bring Android 13 to this device because Side said it, uh, and probably he's busy with it now on the background, and, and probably Slavai uh, took over the Android uh, 12 uh, development, but Side is as well busy at Lineage OS. They as well have their responsibilities there, you know, so yeah, you cannot uh, expect too much in one time, but in time, it's all coming to us, and look at the numbers, 109, amazing number, hey, what happened there? Come back, Lisa, okay. So, that is it for the S4. Um, Yeah, you can go check it out. It's it's really a good ROM. If you want to install gaps, uh, you can install NIC gaps or bit gaps. We can install gaps really fast if you want. Shall we do that? Let's put this thing. Let's 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 tell this thing to go. Uh, let me see. How do we do that? Here, we type um, advanced. Advanced restart. That is here. Boom. And then we're just gonna select to restart into recovery mode. I advise you to do this because the bottoms of these things, yeah, 
they are old and suddenly you are pressing and nothing is happening. By the way, I have a video how you can, you know, kind of fix that if that happens to you, but it could happen to you. All right. At the thread on XDA, you will find the direct links for gaps. This one you need. Open gaps arm. These guys will not put something in there that is not good for the phone. You see, it's flashing open gaps. The installer detected that stock ROM gaps are already installed. If you are flashing over a Nexus compatible, blah, blah, no problem. But if you are flashing over a custom ROM, you want to contact the developer to request the removal of the... <laughs> oh my gosh. So in fact, after formatting data, you install the ROM. And then you install this gaps, and then you're gonna be just good to go. After the reboot, you're gonna have gaps, and nothing like this will happen to you. Okay. So it's it's good that we made this little uh, yeah wrong choice by trying to install neck gaps because it was not added to the system and. Because yeah, probably it's not compatible with this ROM. I say probably. Maybe it is. But you will have to install it right after. Right after you install the ROM. Okay, and this should this this looks very promising. I think this thing should now have gaps Google Play Store in it. And if not, then, you know, we are terribly sorry. But for the best hope. I think we should have gaps now. Nice boot animation, JDC. I always said it. You know how difficult it is to make a, a boot animation like this. How much work. All these pages. Okay, we arrived. Do we have gaps? Yes. Look. You have the Google Play Store now installed. So yeah, the S4, it's still very alive in uh, 2023. And uh, if you're having a nice little case, you can as well, you know, keep it nice for the coming years. Beautiful phone, the Samsung Galaxy S4, Android 12, release 29th of June part in the video that might not be clear to you is when I just said uh, it was good that we first installed Nick Gaps but you did not see that part in this video if I would leave that part you know the video would become way longer and it would lead to nothing so um, yeah in fact the part that you missed in this video was that I you know we went to source for downloaded Nick Gaps and installed it and yeah, it showed uh, no 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 gaps after the reboot. So that's why when we went and got the right uh, file from JDC themselves, at least they have the links uh, on the thread at XDA, uh, we successfully installed gaps, but it was as well saying that, you know, a, a, another installation of gaps is as well still out there. So, <laughs> After a formatting of the data, installing the ROM and then the good uh, open gaps package, of course, that message will never come. So if you have that problem or made that mistake, only thing you need to do is format the phone and just, or maybe just leave it like this and see if the gaps works. You know, if you have certain things uh, on your phone and you cannot make a backup or whatsoever, yeah, just try it. I think the gaps works 
I did not log in with the account, but it was not saying any strange thing or so. So I think it just works. So just check it out, all right? Let me know in the comments if this room is uh, good. And to my friends, JDC and all the users, I would say thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it, you know? And uh, I wish you all the best in the future development of uh, the ROMs. And then, yeah, if you did like this video, don't forget to leave it a like eh? and to subscribe to my channel if you did not already, if you are already subscribed type a message i wish you an amazing uh, friday stay well and god bless you bye bye <laughs>